Paula. We are gonna go straight, and I mean straight to Zara's downtown in Midtown in the mall area, which I will link everything down below. And I'm gonna be a little mischievous. We're gonna go to Zara's and try on the top 10 most ugliest prints at Zara's. <laughs> Keep in mind that it is all my opinion and just for fun. If you like it, more power to you. Let's get into it, bitches. Hi, of course, that's what I'm saying here. It's very self-explanatory. This is my outfit of the day. It was a swell 95 degrees here in New York City with humidity, and I figured the best route to go is just wear simple clothes and all white. Are you seeing the plethora of ugly prints that I'm about to try on for your du jour? My face has it all. Exactly! I wanna throw up! So let's get into it. First shirt. Not so bad, not so bad. It has a silky material and i kind of like low-key and feeling it something about the colors and the softness of it just feels good on my skin it's not the ugliest thing that i've ever seen to be quite honest with you i mean i feel like i could move good in this if i do say so myself i don't know it's not bad it's not the worst i've ever seen But oh my God, number two, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? This is a federal catastrophe in my book. It's giving me low-key Versace vibes, but even though just because it's Versace doesn't mean it's the creme of the creme, the creme of the crap, or whatever you want to say, I don't like it. I'm going to sit down and hide myself. No, it's not working. It's not working. And I'm trying to make it look cute, but it's, you know, I mean, look at behind me. It looks even worse. Imagine I had curtains like this in my home. Like a plethora of prints like this behind me, mamma mia. I don't like this. There's no way I would ever wear this. This is atrocious and it's a big thumbs down. So let's get out of this, um, Daisy. Let's skedaddle. Yuck. What do you think? Thumbs up or thumbs down? You let me know. Okay, I was pleasantly surprised with this skirt, I'm not gonna lie. I first looked at it and I was like, it's not the worst of the worst looking at it. The colors are pretty nice. I would wear this blue. It has like this fringy effect going on, like asymmetrical on the hemline. And it's actually pretty cute. It's giving me like, you know, I'm going to like a Latin club and then I get to twirl around with the skirt. And you know when you swing around when you're dancing salsa? And when in any of those kind of music, you know the little skirt is gonna fling around. It's super sexy. I actually low-key like this. Dare I say I actually like it. I love the movement of it. It's very fun. I can dance in it. I could probably bend down with this and not flush anybody. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty impressed, I gotta say. And you know, you have to make sure that you move in these clothes just to make sure that you don't flash people or it's inappropriate in any, in any way, shape, or form. And that's why you do the sit test every time you're in a fitting room trying on clothes so that you can make sure you're super comfortable in whatever you wear. Oh my God. So then this is the next piece and I tried on the shirt with the skirt and you know, it kind of left me speechless. I'm not going to lie. It had me thinking something about this I kind of find and dare I say interesting. I mean, I know it's like a collage galore here, but something is really cool. If you want to wear print on print, then you want to keep it in the same color family. But I guess because of the color of the shirt, it's not so bad. I love the colors. Now what I wear with the skirt, I don't know. I don't freaking know. Am I going crazy here? This is the outfit that actually left me speechless because I don't really know if I like it or not. However, I do like the top because I like the colors of the top. These colors I can vibe with. As you can see, because clearly I am feeling myself. Okay, no. This took me straight to Rhode Island and I went to the port there and I'm having lobster with a couple of friends or 
my husband and I'm low key trying to figure out whether I like the lobster or not. It just gives me that type of vibe and if it's your vibe, great. But it's not my type of vibe. There's no edge to this dress. The color is nice. I mean, I love blue and I love cream. But this is, there's no edge to this. There's like nothing to it. I feel like it has no personality. I mean, unlike me. And I don't like it. I just don't like it. I can see a lot of people here in New York City wearing it. I can see them wearing it. But you won't see me wearing it after this video. Because there's no way I would wear this. So let's just keep it going. This one literally made me want to throw up. I want to throw up with this dress. This is giving me, this is giving me groovy vibes, 60s, but it's just like the pattern or the print with the color combination is a big hell to the N-O for me. I don't like it. I don't like the, com the color combination. As you can tell, I'm working this dress because I'm trying to figure out how it would look nice, but this is just one atrocious dress. And it's my opinion, but I just, I don't, I don't like it. Oh my god. No. 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 Okay, if you didn't know, I'm gonna tell you now. I am a big Three's Company fan. The series Three's Company with John Litter back in the days, I'm obsessed with it. But not to the point where I look like Mrs. Roper. This is giving me full-blown Mrs. Roper vibes. And I'm not about that life. No, there's nothing about this. is like Moo Moo vibes. And there's nothing about this that I like. This is definitely a cover-up for the beach because it's very thin. And it's meant for that. But the pattern, the material, the way it looks, I mean, it's it feels so inexpensive in my hands it feels like it was poorly done it's not doing anything for my body the print does nothing for my skin it doesn't enhance anything it doesn't make me feel cute it doesn't make me look cute and just look hidden and an atrocious garment that's just laid over me i'm dumbfounded okay this one is giving me nantucket vibes again with the blue and the cream and slightly Tory Burch vibes as well. I mean, Tory Burch has some nice things, let's be honest. But this would not be it, even if I found it a Tory Burch. It's a capital no. Again, I can see a lot of people here in New York City actually wearing something like this. There's that scene out there, the very Hampton-esque type of scene where I can see them wearing this type of look. But you won't catch me in the Hamptons and you won't catch me wearing this. Not to say that I would never go to the Hamptons because I've never been there. The bottom line is I really don't like it. The colors are kind of cute, but it's just not for me. But I can see this being a very popular dress. I like this shirt. I love the feel of it. I love the material. It's giving me the silk vibes and I love the colors. It feels like a garden. When in doubt, wearing shirts like this with a lot of prints and colors and it's very summery, always, you can always wear it with white, white pants, white skirt, white shorts. If in doubt, just wear white with it. And it'll give you that punchy, summery vibes. I like this. I don't know. I really actually like this. I feel like it will look great with like pants, that material, and keep it in the summery light vibe. Like satin type of uh, pants. And any of the colors that I'm wearing, I mean, even like a like a nice olive green, a cream pants, something like that. I think it would be cute with this, even a skirt. It's not bad. Dare I say it's not bad, Zaras? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of feeling this one. Oh my God, and then we have pink. I mean... I like pink. You guys might already know that I like pink and I love pink and I like pink. And I can't make up with my mind whether I like it or love it, but at the end of the day, I love it. It's giving me cotton candy vibes. I can see myself wearing this with gold jewelry and some maybe this just shorts with high heels and gold. Okay, wasn't this supposed to be the worst prints in Zara? And look at me here saying that I actually like it. Oh my God, I just ruined my own video.